big bad RC. Back with another video. Hope you're all well, people. Um, today's video, we're going to do a rundown on cutting a body shell for an RC car. Um, in front of me here, I've got a couple uh, kindly supplied to me by Fat Bodies UK. Um, I reached out to Simon at Fat Bodies um, regarding this mini bonsai shell uh, for a build I've got coming up. Um, he kindly supplied this and some others to me free of charge to do a paint and body cutting videos. Um, Lovely chap, I've had a, a couple of bodies off theirs, um, which you'll have seen on my other vehicles. Now, this one, um, I'm not going to cut, because this is from a new build and um, the chassis for this hasn't, isn't here at the moment. So, um, this is the Fat Bodies Bonsai Mini Kit. Um, you see, it's brilliant Lexan mould. Um, just showing you this one as a as a difference in body style. I'm just going to pop this one out of my way for the time being. Now, this is how a shell turns up from Fat Bodies. It's molded. It has an overspray film on um, the outside so that when you finish spraying, peel it off. No overspray on the front to get the best look of the vehicle. Um, the, they can be a bit daunting when you receive them at first because you don't actually, well, I didn't know how, actually how to go about fitting these two uh, an RC car. Um, what a trial and error. Um, and for this one, well, this is one I've just cut out this morning. Um, trimmed around the front so it sits nicely around here. Trim around here, not the sides, so that it sits away from the suspension arms and also away from the tie rods. Same with the front, they sit around. Now you'll notice on this one, this is my first attempt. If you look at the difference, there's a big old gap there, you can see. So I'll take this one off. Fit this one on now it hasn't got the velcro on so it won't hold on but you can see this gap's closed up quite dramatically and it's really well covered there and the gap is a lot better so it'll keep a lot more dirt out but it also doesn't catch on the body front or back which is what you want um, so let's jump in, right? As you can see, that doesn't fit. So what we need to do is move this out of the way. I'm going to trim very roughly around the outskirts of this body. Um, I use a pair of household scissors just to run around the, the external of the body. Um, a couple of millimetres away from the actual cutting lines to allow you to fit the body but also not finish the final cutting till the end. Um, that can quite, can quite be tough. So I also have a little pair of curved, you see them? A little curved scissors, um, which were not were or oh, ah, brand new pair of bird scissors that came in a kit. Um, I have a specific pair I use for my beard. Um, oh, the mold is looking a bit, a bit shabby. I need to trim that. Well, I'm not going to trim that while I'm doing this video. Because, well, unless you guys want to see it. Um, but, um, it needs a, a good trim, so yeah, I'm just waffling while I'm trimming around here. So, you know, any pair of little scissors will do, like a pedicure scissors, if 
your wife, your girlfriend, you've got pedicure scissors. They work well, just up until I told you to use them. Um, I get enough grief off my missus for when I use those. So, right. There we go. Right, so, I'm going to turn on there a little bit better. So now, put the vehicle down. And you can get it to fit a little bit better. Not, not greatly, but you can get it to sit on the, the shock towers a bit better and roughly work out where you want your body. So you could either keep a little bit more at the front or a little bit more at the back, depending on which way you want. I tend to take more off the back to fit the back to keep the length of the front because I like the, the shape of this particular shell. Um, as you can see, I've got three of them. Um, they are one of my favourite looking shells. I'm sorry, I'm just looking for a little felt tip pen. Just bear with me one moment. Oh, there we go. So, we have a little pen. So what I tend to do is, I tend to look where the shock towers are, where the shock towers end, and then I mark roughly down the bottom where the shock tower ends, run my way up, so shock tower ends there, mark at the top roughly. Now these are only rough markings um, until you get closer to the finished product you can work in bit by bit so that you're not losing too much of the shell and working out that you've cut too much off which is what I did with the grey body as you can see I can I can show you closer on them two now the difference in the what's what's remained in same at the rear there's a lot more left on this one than this one um quite substantial actually so this now fits a lot better than this there will be just keeping that body as well just to use as a, a basher shell um this one's going to be like a i don't like the word but a shelf queen body just to keep it looking nice so trim roughly on your lines you don't have to be precise because it's not your final cut um, always go to the outer edge of your felt tip line so that you give yourself more room to leave for error so that if you you cut you know drastically out you can see if you, you might not be able to see but I always cut this side of the line so I do a line I always cut this side of the line so that it gives me more margin for error so you can see now that that body is starting to fit in there now it's not great because it's still catching on these shot towers here but it's it's coming fitting a lot better at the back so i now know that i've got to trim a little bit more off there so you can see again we're getting close to that actual cut line on the recess there where this bends in and curves out we're really close to the actual cut of this now I've done a few of these bodies now and I've I've got a knack of where, knowing where to cut so I'm trying not to cut where I know needs to be cut because I'm trying to show you in the video how how I do it and how easy it is so I know now that that's coming down 
light switch passing the shock towers near enough but I want to leave some on the front so I'm going to gradually take some off the mat so same again if you mark a line about a millimetre or two in and then you use your scissors again and trim if you do I mean you can go bigger but you can always take off you can't pull back on which is why the other shell has got such big big holes and you know in the front because I took too much off in one go and you can't put it back on so we that's fitting lovely at the back now um slightly too big at the front so what i'm going to do here i'm actually going to cut up the the curved line there because i know i've got enough left on the back to remove if it needs to go back a bit and also if you need to move it either way you've got the facility to do, to do it um, if you if you haven't heard of fat bodies or you haven't checked out their products please do um, I'm not affiliated with them in any way um, I actually found them through a suge somebody suggesting them to me um, I contacted them before I purchased my first one <clears throat> and they gave me some good feedback on he had to tell me the colours of the shell that he used and um, some good information on mounting. I chose to use Velcro rather than the post, um, which was my personal solution because uh, I like the cleaner look and I don't like the body post poking through. And he always replies to your emails. He's, they're, they're, they're a brilliant company to, to deal with and he's been kind enough obviously to send me some shells to promote my channel and obviously help his his body so you know check out fat bodies uk um if you look now it's that lovely at the back it's lovely at the front barring about a millimeter at the top there which is just stopping it drop so if we <clears throat> square that off the millimeter cut off you know you, you can shape it whichever way you want um, and obviously different vehicles are going to require different amounts to be taken off it's a 114 scale um, so it's sitting behind both now so what you need to do is you need to make sure it's centralized so where you want it to sit so I want mine to sit there so then you take your marker again and work out where your um, tie rods are and how much they come up same one here work out where your suspension arm is and which way it's going to miss so you can you can usually gauge by you can usually gauge by looking at it um, dead on like there you can see where the suspension arm is so you know what you need to cut from there and you can see where the top of that is so you, you can work out your angle of direction to where you want it and obviously it's a lot of its personal preference how much you want to, to to take off the back i mean the, the first shell i've got is it, it's usable um i've had it a few months now and there's, there's absolutely nothing wrong with it it's just that i rushed it uh you know first ever body shell i painted um no patience whatsoever ran in like a bull in a china shop and the cuts aren't great, you know, I, I split the shell a little bit doing it and it's not good. And 
but first attempt I'm not going to make we're not going to be perfect at everything are we and not saying that I'm perfect now because I'm anything but but right so we've, we've trimmed the back slightly and now what we're going to do is cut up the line so I'm cutting upwards on both of them on the where I'm at the, the tie rod here and then I'm going to cut in a diagonal line across there from where I'm at where the, the tie rod sits at the top um, to give that shape and then I can once I've got the shape I can put the body on and work out if I need to put any more on so if it's the back it's still catching slightly if you move it um, now you I don't know if you can see that but as you move the suspension it is catching the body so you need to trim a little bit more off there so I always step it up so I cut up a little bit more and then on an angle to keep that that nicer shape that you can get with the straight lines um, I'm not used to talking this much on these videos <clears throat> but it's hard to explain sometimes without showing and I've got a bit of feedback regarding um, people wanting to be able to see what I'm doing more trying to help them out with how they're doing things so you have to excuse the waffling um, it is going to be a bit of a longer video so that is bottoming out the suspension and it's not touching at the front it's slightly at the back so we're gonna do a millimeter do a curve up like that same on this side um, there's a lot of people out there who'll be going whoa, whoa don't do that don't do that don't do this but uh, you know this is my shell my body um, this is how I've learned to do it I'm not a professional it's just learning as I go along so that is missing at the front and it's also missing at the back um, if you can see so <coughs> In 20 minutes if you take your time you can get a decent result um, cutting the shell <coughs> I need to trim the edges off a little bit of sandpaper smooth the edges trim it down and then we'll pop back in and the next video I'm going because I'm going to wrap this one up here um, on the cutting side of it because it's 20 minutes long as it is um, but you can see now that the, these are you see the shell as it comes with everything fitted that was one I cut this morning you see in the other fat body shells this is the attack by fat bodies um, so the other one that's the banzai mini um, just what I say again thanks to Fat bodies for supplying these shells free of charge for me to do some videos with to try and help people out there who haven't paid which is I hadn't watched the video I just tried my best to get somewhere that I thought was good so we're gonna clean it up then in the next video we're gonna mask out um, I think I'm gonna do the section here grey and that side the rest of it black do something different um, show you how to make window masks um, dead simple dead simple trick um, to make window masks and 
we'll do that in the next video so hope you're all well if you like like and subscribe check me out on facebook at big beard rc um hope you're all well smash the bell button see you on another video